Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday. Coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball. Multi-pack edition or cello pack edition. 24 of those cello packs in each box. And this is Ram Team number 18. Usual disclaimer right here. Big thanks to these people right here. Thank you very much. And all teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams seven times. Five and a two. One, two, three. Sixth and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Carol down to Jesse. Five and a two, seven times for the teams. Six and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got the Sacramento Kings. Sack Town, Bay Area, and back down. Charlotte Hornets on the bottom right there. All right. So Carol with the Kings. Adam with the Spurs. Travis with the Bucks. Adam with the Sixers. Adam with the OKC Thunder. Drew with the Nets. Tony with the Knicks. Travis with the Pistons. Richard with the Trailblazers. Drew with the Clippers. Sim with the Lakers and Grizz. Nice. Greg with the Celtics. Henry with the Cavs, Carol with the Nuggets, Henry with the Warriors, Carol with the Hawks, Andrew with the Suns, Travis with the Mavs, Carol with the Raptors, Travis with the Pacers, Nick with the Jazz, Adam with the Magic, Travis with the Bulls, Chad with the Rockets, Carol with the Heat, James with the Wizards, Danny with the Pels, nice, Tony with the Timberwolves, and Jesse with the Charlotte Hornets. Let's alphabetize by team. Any trades? Yeah, Danny's fired up. Nice. I don't think he's going to trade those Pelicans, ladies and gentlemen, just FYI. No? Any trades? No one, no, no one talking trades? No trade talk? All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. All right, TWC, trade window closed. Let's roll. If you're joining us live, schedule is in the chat. We're a tiny bit ahead of schedule. What do you think about that, Danny? El Canon is not in this break. There's the printout once again to make it official. He's not in this break, but he will trade a roll of stamps and a pile of sticky notes for the Pelicans. A roll of stamps, that's like 100 stamps. That's a lot. That's a lot of stamps. Stamps are legal tender, aren't they? If you show, if you if you gave a if you gave a bus driver a stamp, he'd have to take. Bus driver probably won't, but technically. All right, see there you go, Danny. Good negotiating. That's, that's classic negotiation right there. He's looking for some number two pencils in there as well. And I don't want those cheap off-brand number two pencils, El Canon. If I can speak for Danny, I'm, we're talking like really nice Ticonderoga number two pencils. Now let's open. I got packs to open up packs. 
but it's going to be worth it, folks. Now, obviously, these are cello pack, retail packs, so you're not, you shouldn't really be expecting autos out of here. Sometimes you can get surprised, but really, we're just chasing the parallels. And if you've been following the hobby in the last year or so, you know that the parallels have steadily gained a lot of value on the secondary market. The silvers different mosaic parallels, the Genesis short prints, all that sort of stuff from all sorts of different products have been gaining a lot of steam. So let's slide this around here. other half right here. We got some baseball highlights in back here. What is this? The, the last night of the 2011 season, I guess, was a wild one. It looks like we're inching closer and closer to getting all, all sorts of team, uh, team sports back. I think there are some players opting out of yeah, we're finally getting baseball back. They're getting all those rules settled in. I guess there's a universal DH. They get 60 men on a roster. I think only only the standard 20 or 22 or whatever the new number is will travel. And then the other like 40 will be kind of traveling nearby but not with the team. All sorts of crazy things. Extra innings will have... Uh, Extra innings will have, I think extra innings past like the 10th inning will have a runner start at second base. Yeah, I think I think that universal DH rule may, may actually stick the following season too. And from here on out. There's Giannis. Yeah, some articles are suggesting that this is the last we've seen of, of the of the of the DH or uh, of of pitchers hitting that is. Also, the runner on second base in extra innings. Ooh, nice this is green Zion for Danny. Good start. Uh, the runner on second base in extra innings. I think that that only, that's only for regular season. So in the playoffs, it can go as long as it wants to. Nice green Zion. So there are a bunch of other rules too. It's crazy. Basketball, you know, they're they're kind of getting into the swing of things too. There'll be a training camp soon. Um, people have opted out. Avery Bradley for my Lakers opted out. He's not gonna. He's not gonna be playing. His son has has some conditions. Has like some asthmatic conditions and stuff like that. So he was afraid of catching it, bringing it home. I think it's a good family decision for him. I'm gonna miss his perimeter defense in the playoffs, but but I, I get it. So Avery Bradley has opted out. I think there'll probably be a few other players that opt out. Nice Luka Doncic for uh, just a base Luka Doncic for Travis. So that leaves a roster spot open. I wonder if the Lakers will try to convince uh, Demarcus Cousins to come back. Although if I'm if I'm Boogie, I, I would. I would wait as long as possible to let, let his ACL injury heal up. So it looks like J.R. Smith will probably be coming back to the, joining LeBron again, going for another run. So they picked up, they worked out J.R. Smith, but I think they ended up signing Dion Waiters instead. But now with that extra spot open, I think they're going to be. I think a lot of the sports are going to have some flexibility with, uh, I think, all the team sports. Baseball, 
football eventually, uh, bas but baseball and basketball especially, I think there's going to be a lot of flexibility in um, roster sizes and, and, and changing up rosters and adding players and subtracting players and all that sort of stuff. So it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, I, I think the teams that are the deepest will certainly have an advantage. Talk, going back to baseball, I know it's a basketball break, but going back to baseball, like teams like the Dodgers, you know, teams like the Yankees, teams big teams like that, or not even the big team. There are a lot of teams with just incredible depth. So it's going to help the teams with good depth, good farm systems, you know. Remember, minor leaguers aren't playing this year, unfortunately. So guess what? I'm sure teams are going to start adding them to the, this new sort of temporary expanded roster to get some minor league players some work. So teams with nice LeBron James, pink camo. Speaking of basketball, Sim with my Lakers. So we might see like some minor leaguers getting some playing time. And I think maybe NBA teams shuttling players up between G League teams and G League rosters and uh, nice, uh, nice Zion right there. Another one for you, Danny. I think they'll make that a lot easier too in terms of signing those 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 contracts going back and forth, two way deals and whatnot. Pink Camel Zion to go along with that green Zion. I feel like your spot's been paid for, and then some. <laughs> All right. Another box. Gabe saying, I know in hockey they're trying to make the mask a thing for when they're on the bench. That makes sense. I think hockey's close to getting uh, figuring out their hub cities, right? Oh, another weird thing with baseball is that they're going to have to figure out what to do with the uh, Blue Jays. The Blue Jays are going to be... Because Canada, I think, still has like a has like a uh, two week quarantine or something like that. So I think that's kind of a, a tricky thing, which is through like July twenty four or late July, and I think games are supposed to start in late July. So I don't know. They're thinking of stationing the Blue Jays maybe at a minor league team stateside. They just have to figure that out. And I don't know what's going to happen when players have, have COVID. I think there's going to be a COVID injury list designation. And I think those players just might be out. It's like, it's like sorry. You're out for two weeks. You're going to get tested, you know, for, you got, you got to get two more, like two negative tests in a row every, every few days before you even let back in any sort of team situation, which who knows how long that could take. Oh, Blue Jays may play in Buffalo or Florida, Mark N. saying. So there you go. Yeah, so... And I don't know how – baseball is interesting. It's like soccer. English Premier League started up. And so I've been watching a lot of that. I'm a big soccer fan. Liverpool is my club, and they won today. And they've got all – they've got – but it's outdoors. So, like, you've got a player, you know, seat, player, seat, player, seat. So there's, like, some, some social distancing that you can do. Plenty of social distancing you can't do. Basketball – I mean, what do you do? You got an older coach running a play? 
You know, are you shouting out code words now? So they're gonna have to figure that out. Maybe coaches will be wearing wearing masks, but will be will players wear masks? I know coaches union have been like, well, you know, if we have to wear a mask, everyone has to wear. I don't know. So that that that's been, that's gonna be an interesting thing there. Maybe they should just play outdoors. Just street ball it. How cool would that be? Yeah, I saw that, Jeff. There's a no uh, there's a no spitting rule in baseball, which includes tobacco and one of my favorite foods, food groups, the sunflower seed. That's ridiculous. They they can't enforce that. I mean, if you're all by yourself in center field and you're like chewing on seeds, I think that's going to be fine. I think you'll be okay. Managers and base coaches? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're probably going to have a lot of players in the stands behind the dugouts, a few people in the dugouts, some players behind the stands, like maybe non-starters are in the stands or something like that, just watching the game. But there's some sort of natural social distancing that happens in baseball, you know? So I think it'll be okay. All right. There's a Giannis right there. Good luck, everybody. This is box two. Yeah, no spit for you. It'll be like some sort of, like in Seinfeld, there'll be a, instead of a suit Nazi, there'll be spit Nazi out there. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how all this is is, uh, is executed. LeBron James got game green. What, what was that? Uh, what was that LeBron James we got in those uh, Jaspies Boomer Bus hit packs? I think that was from Mosaic. That was that was a it's a crazy hit. It was really nice. Maybe some more hit packs on Friday is what Nick was teasing. But TBD for now. Keep just, uh, just keep an eye out on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Who has the Bucks? Travis, you'll be getting all those Giannis's I've been pulling. Sim with my Lakers. You'll get all these LeBrons. And we've got a silver rookie bowl bowl. That'll be for Carroll and the Denver Nuggets. It's not so bad. He's got some upside. Seven seven wingspan. A lot of upside. All right, pink camos. There definitely won't be any fans. I don't know how I don't know how the NFL is going to do it. Now that I think about it, I mean, for baseball, you're talking about maybe twenty. You're traveling with maybe like twenty some odd players. 
right, who can easily socially distance, or more easily socially distance, right? So 20 players plus staff and managers. It's not that bad, right? You got a coach, bench coach, hitting coach, pitching coach, first base, third base coach at six people plus another 20 men on a roster. So maybe 30, some trainers, some bullpen guys, 30, 35 people, right? Think about, now think about what a football team has. 50 people on a roster and all the position coaches. You got to travel with that. That that's that I don't know how they're going to work that out. I mean, I'm sure there I'm sure it's a discussion for the NFL every day, but figuring out the rules there, but it'll be interesting to see what they propose. All right, last set of pink camos here. I think I saw LeBron back there somewhere. There he is. Pink Camel, LeBron James, and Ty Jerome at the end. Sim Sarna with my Lakers gets that nice one there. And there you go, boys and girls. That was a quick two-box cello pack break. Random team, 18. 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball. Some strong stuff in here as usual. Should be some more in the store. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time.